All right, guys. Morning. After your uh, coach just said his message to you guys was a strong sense of urgency this week. Uh, how does that resonate through you guys and the team? Yeah, I think there's always – you always got to have a sense of urgency in this league. Um, and, you know, where we are as a team, we, we – we, we need that desperately um, from everybody. Um, so it starts with myself and, and uh, starts with this week of practice, I think, uh, trying to attack this week head on. And we're playing a really good football team. So in and, and a really cool environment, um, hostile environment. So we got to be ready to go. You know, he's he's doing a great job. He's, he's coming along. He's doing a lot of good things on special teams. Um, I think that's really um, where he started to really show up in a lot of ways. Um, he's been great in the room. He's learning a ton, asks great questions. Um, just we, we love having him in the room. He's, he's a tremendous talent that I um, feel like we, we need to get going in some, in some capacity. And he's starting to show up on the field, show up in good ways, um, be consistent. And that's all you can ask for for him right now. I mean, he's con just continuing to get better. Closer to the same stage of yeah. career in life, is that because of the, the sort of youth and just add a little? Yeah, bit? it's just it, it. You know, it's crazy how things flip in a way. I, I feel like it was just the other day. I was on the other side of it with uh, a guy like Antonio Gates, and um, you know, me and uh, Hooper, kind of that guy in a way for him. Um, so, you know, we we me and Hooper seen a lot in this league. Um, so if we can, you know, pass on wisdom, pass on things that we've seen to them, um, we try to as much as we can. On the last play from scrimmage in, in, the, in regulation, you can just kind of see, if I can watch that, you were kind of standing out of bounds there at the end of the play. Was that designed? Was that? <laughs> no, it was not designed. I've got to be, uh, no, it was, uh, I had a, you know, inline uh, route and then tried to make the scramble drill. He made a good play and, uh, you know, I just lost my balance. We got pushed out of bounds, so I've got to be better and uh, try to stay in bounds. But once you go out of bounds, you can't be the first to touch the ball. Um, so I just tried to eliminate myself from the play. I probably should have even got out of it even more. It was pretty – I was – I don't I'm, – people were, like, praising it for it, but I, I don't think it was very smart of me, actually. Um, I need to be better in that situation so I can be alive for the, for the team. So you had, a, obviously, a unique perspective of that play. What's it like going back and watching the film and watching Drake on that play? Uh, I mean, special. Uh, that's the number one thing I could say. I mean, to keep a play alive that long is is tough, and then for him just to have the to be able to see Ramondre in that aspect was um, pretty remarkable. So I mean, it was a incredible play, and honestly, I had a front row seat to it, so it was pretty uh, pretty crazy. What's your point? That you shouldn't have had a front row seat. Do you want to put yourself in like the ninth row? <laughs> I probably should have stepped out a little bit more. Yeah, uh, I did communicate to Drake in a way uh, to make sure to not throw it. But um, yeah, it, it, I, it can be confusing because the you know it's happening so fast, and I'm just standing there, and there's no one on me. It can you know you can be confusing. It's kind of hard to actually see if I'm out of bounds. I probably should have stepped out a little bit more. Do you think he had time to realize you were out of bounds? Oh, well, I kind of communicated to him in a way, my own way, but like do not throw it. <laughs> Your aspect, Gene Bell. What have you seen from Jack West over the five seasons? Jack's doing a great job. Um, you know, he uh, gives us great looks in, in practice. Um, he's working hard, coming along, getting better. Um, he's also a great guy. I, like our whole room is is a is a joy to be around. So uh, we have a lot of great guys in the room, and uh, that starts with Bob, our tight end coach, as well. Um, we just we have a we have a fun room to be in. Especially as like Soldier Field, you talk about history of the NFL. It's not a stadium I imagine you played at. Frequently, haven't been with the Chargers in the past. Yeah. How much do you appreciate those opportunities? And do you, as, especially as you get later in your career, do you think about that? Go to the pregame, watch you walk into the stadium, take the time to look around, and so forth. Um, yeah, you, I, you definitely get excited to go play in a place like that. I mean, there's a lot of history, um, a lot of rich history. So um, I played there once um, with the Chargers, so this will be my second time to go back. Um, but, I, I, you know, once the ball's kicked, you're, you're just in game mode and you're rolling. You're not really like, thinking about all those exterior things. But um, still, it's, it's, it's a special place to play. Um, there's a lot of history, so it's exciting for everybody in this locker room. All right, guys. Stacey, let him know that you're also in that club. I am. <laughs> you 
teachers, maybe just a thought on, Gerard said a few minutes ago that the message was a sense of urgency uh, going into this week. Uh, is that any different for you, or is it kind of what's your message to your teammates as you go about this Yeah, week? it's about the same that we give every week to our team. What, what is it this week? Anything different? <laughs> no, same, same thing. Sense of urgency, go on out there, getting the plays down, and, and executing it at a high level. Mm -hmm. As yes. a result of that. Mm -hmm. was, was there like one thing that stood out to you from the last game, you know, that was an example of that? Um no, it wasn't just it wasn't one thing. It's it's a it's a plethora of formations and I guess motions and schemes that they kind of end up to so that we know when they're in this one, whether it's gun five or gun gun far away off or gun um uh near or home. When they're in those type of situations, we, we, we know which plays are coming. So that's kind of how we always are. I think every team uh, does something, something something similar to that. It's nothing nothing big. It's kind of just like finding small details that will let you know uh, where plays are going. Peter, you mentioned like gun near and gun far. You know, it's a little <coughs> you don't really know what the difference is. But is there certain things that teams will tend to do, whether they are, you know, with the running back to the rest of the formation or whether it's away? Yeah, yeah, most likely when – Wherever, I know it sounds very cliche sometimes, but wherever the tight end is, that's usually what time, what, what side the run is, depending on what type of tight end they have or whatever the case is. And um, usually, usually, unless it's a toss, running backs go across the formation to to the ball or downhill, you know, and that's that's about it. A little one on one stuff for y'all. What's been your impression of uh, Caleb Williams so far? Uh, he's a good quarterback. He definitely uses his feet. Feet. Use his feet very well. Um, can throw the ball also pretty good on the run, um, but in the pocket, he's, dead, he's outstanding. So, um, definitely have to rattle him a little bit, um, get him moving, but not down the field. Is this a, is this a game, uh, A, his ability to keep plays alive, and also rush late discipline is maybe more important for him? Yes. I know I've asked you this in past years with quarterbacks that can run, like Caleb Williams. Do you enjoy the opportunity to try that? contain a guy like that? I mean, obviously, keeping the edge is critical in a game like this. Yeah, it's a challenge. I think I, I like, I find joy in different challenges every different every week. There's pocket passers who can run, and there are scramblers who, who can throw in the pocket. So when going against each week, finding out what their strengths are and the challenges is taken away from them. So that's what it is. Anthony Jennings has taken on a bigger role in the defense. I played almost every snap, I think, the past two weeks. What have you seen from him now that he has stepped into that bigger role? Uh, him just being consistent every every time he steps on the field. Uh, his ability to stop the pass, stop the run, set at the edge, make great TFL plays and run plays, and then also be very effective in the pass game. Also, he also can drop back too, so he's very versatile. Jelani said after the game that you felt you guys were we're getting closer, even though the results aren't there sometimes for you guys. Do you feel that? Do you sense that, that it's, it, it's going to click soon with you guys? Yeah, I think we're doing a great job. Um, to pick it back off what he said, I think we're doing really good jobs. I think there's one or two plays here that change the outcome of games. But for the most part, I think we're staying together, which is very important, and, and putting good stuff on, on film. So, yeah, that's it. Final question? You just going back to Anthony for a second. You, you know, talk about this as a player, but as a person, came into the league a couple of years where uh, it goes out on the field a lot for various reasons. What have you seen from him in a leadership standpoint and just in the locker room, in the huddle, over the course of the last couple of years on school? This is mindset. Um, just to what you said, he didn't start off the way he wanted to, but every time he sets up on the field, he always gave that tenacity that teams that coaches look look for you know and uh every i think his i think it was last year where he he just took off but that's what he's always have done he's always been that player every time he steps on the field made good plays big plays but i think now they all, it all came, came together that one year and ever since since then he's just been going up so yeah all right y'all have a good one